My name is David Smith. I've been homeless for the last three, three and a half years. Uh, I lost my job and uh, I couldn't get no help. But the landlord wouldn't take any benefits. He only wanted to claim the rent money. And so I paid one month's deposit, so I had that amount of time to move out. But I couldn't find any help. And uh, I was just living, living and sleeping in, rough in the parks. With hardly anything with me, apart from a blanket. Well, to cope, I was at to go into uh, little places where you can get food from, like uh, drop-in centres. Uh, there's a couple about, there's one in London. Well, there's two in London. Uh, one, you can stay there till from 8 o'clock till 1 o'clock. After 1 o'clock, you're back out on the streets walking around. Just wondering what to do till you can find until it gets dark so you can find somewhere to put your head down for the night and keep as warm or as dry as possible. Well, my name is Pauline Ejayi. My name is Joyce Da Silva. Um, we are women of vision and mission. When we walk on the street, we can see the need. We know that a lot of people are walking around and they really, you know, they are not bothered about who is who. But the moment we walk on the street and we see them, something lit up in our spirit that we ought to do something. So that is how it came to be. And we look around, we see a lot of them, it's like nobody is caring. And regardless of whatever that has happened to them or whatever they put themselves through, let's put that one aside. But that was the start of it. And because we are Christians and the word of God says in Isaiah 58 that he wants us to feed the hungry, to home the homeless. Stomach is screaming. Stomach is My chest is I'm homeless and then no one really knew about it because I tried to keep it to myself. It was only because I bumped into one of the ladies and she spoke to the other one and I met that one on a Friday and then from that, day, from that Friday I had accommodation. This particular Friday I asked him where did he sleep last night? He said, just somewhere among the bushes. And I said, what can I do? To, this man is not going to sleep in these bushes tonight. I said, I've got a home. I'll take him home. And he said, are you sure, Polly? I said, yes. I can't let you go. Because you will die if something is not done. My chest is weeping. My chest is weeping. Stomach is screaming. Stomach is screaming. 
and my chest is weeping. Stomach is screaming. My chest is weeping. Stomach is Chest is weeping. Stomach is screaming. Oh. just to take notice of these people, not to look down on them, because it could really happen to anyone. Because we are living in a society that we have so much in our homes, I believe that this society is so materialistic. Um, um. a lot of shoes, hundred shoes, hundred pairs of shoes, and somebody is down the road not even having one, you can part with one and you don't even feel it. I mean, your wardrobe, you change it all the time, you can pass through these people and just give them some of this clothing. And how many you know, a uh, amount of food is in our freezers, even for six solid months, and you haven't eaten it. You can cook it and take it to somebody nearby the street. It doesn't really, you know, take anything from you, but it will give you so much deep satisfaction and so much uh, fulfillment in yourself that you are really helping the community, you are helping the society, you are helping somebody you know, to, to, to feel worth of their dignity in themselves. So I do, I believe that people should really wake up because we have a lot of them around us. And this is the time that our nation needs all of us, all the hands, all our hands to be on the deck to help our nation, you know, to build it back on its feet. And more so because this is a civilized uh, society and to see homeless people on our street is kind of a stigma on the society, on the community, or even ourselves and on the government. And we can do something about it and get homes for people that haven't got homes, clothe people that you know that you know they, they are almost naked. Let's lend the hand of help to people that we come across. Without these people, I'd probably still be out on the streets. I'm feeling a lot happier now in myself. I'm going out and doing more things what I would like to have done, but what I was doing before. But now I'm achieving. I'm trying to achieve them. And so without these two ladies, help giving me that opportunity and the kindness of their own at their own hearts. Uh, that's all I'd like to say, I'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't you see me? 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 Can't you see me